and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you my thoughts and review for tonight's episode of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 7 Episode 2. So glad that it's back. Super happy for it. You know I miss Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Last week's episode started off with a bang where the team are now basically playing Legends of Tomorrow. They basically are going back in time to prevent the Chronicrons from pretty much not only destroying S.H.I.E.L.D. in the process, but also they're pretty much finding out that they have to protect Hydra as well. Hydra has to be created so that way S.H.I.E.L.D. can be created. So they have to, pr to protect this one person who pretty much is the man who's responsible for helping Hydra create their super soldier formula, which by the way, kind of backfire because you know when when the red skull took the super soldier formula backfire him basically melted his face off and then he became the red skull and of course america did it in world war ii we got captain america so if hydra doesn't exist shield doesn't exist captain america doesn't exist and also the avengers don't exist or a, a form of the avengers without captain america remember captain america doesn't get born he doesn't get the super soldier formula. He doesn't get trapped in the ice. He doesn't get recruited by S.H.I.E.L.D. And Nick Fury. Nick Fury might be disappeared too. So so the team literally had tonight to, to, to defend one of HYDRA's founding members. And, you know, they had to swallow their pride. They had no choice. You know, because, you know, they, they if they fail, things will happen. You know how in CW's Flash, you know, they mess up the timeline. Big things are going to happen badly. So they got to prevent it from happening, which they did. We got Melinda May coming back as well. She she got all healed. She wanted to be a part of it. Fortunately, she couldn't. She had to start fighting Enoch to pretty much get permission to get out because Enoch had strict orders to like, hey, listen, if she's awake, fine, sure, whatever. Keep her there. She's not ready to recuperate to fight. And, you know, May, she's very kind of like Black Widow, maybe hard-headed, I guess, in a way, but more more badass. Man, I would love to see those two fight one day, but, you know, that's never going to happen. So, um, anyway, side story. And then, of course, we got to see um, Pat Oswald's character pretty much see <clears throat> the team's ship and pretty much know about the future. At the end of the episode, Enoch got stuck in the past because the ship had to leave. It had, like, a timer, so, you know, it would, had to, it would disappear and go back to the future automatically so um, there's that so now the team is going back home while Enoch is in the past with Pat Oswald's character and <clears throat> the main Hydra guy he did he escaped pretty much he got help from who who knows who knows if his story will continue what's gonna happen next I I'm not sure the next week's episode something about space travel stuff so like a weapon that powers up shield I guess I don't know Hard to say what's going to happen there, but it should be interesting to see what's going to happen. And I can't wait to see what happens. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about S.H.I.E.L.D. tonight. And are you guys interested in what's going to happen next? I'm hoping they actually, you know, maybe meet Peggy Carter. I hear that, I heard that she's going to be a part of this, this last season. Not too sure about that. I only heard like a, a whisper about it. So, not sure. I wonder if Dominic Cooper will be in it too because, you know, he is Howard Stark. Younger version, obviously. But um, it'd be kind of cool to see what happens. And also, if we see Peggy Carter, are we going to see the timeline of after Endgame timeline? Are we going to see Steve Rogers or hear about Steve Rogers? He's still back in the past with the Super Soldier formula. Because remember, spoiler for Endgame, he went back to the past to be with Peggy. So are they going to be a part of that timeline? Are they going to go back in time to the point where Peggy Carter is just mourn mourning his supposed death because she doesn't know what happened to him hard to say but we have to wait and see what happens moving forward with the season in the final season so who knows how this is going to end and if it is actual continuity with the actual movies personally i think it is continuity but people say it's not so i'm not too sure i got you know back in you know when the first season started they, they referenced the avengers a lot over and over again and then they slowly stopped doing that and then you know they reference here and there but we really still don't know where it is at, at you know season six ended i mean sorry five ended with them mentioning thanos that's before uh that's before infinity war 
So are we gonna get information about the snap, the blip, anything like that? Who knows? Maybe they have to go to the back to the present or the future, you know, the past before the snap or even you know during the blimp. Hard to say, but um, we have to wait and see what happens. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about Shield and what are you guys looking forward to the most. Leave a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much and have a good night.